What's up, YouTube? It's Remy. I'm going to be doing an analysis video of Luke Troutwine's winning Virginia State's freestyle. Uh, Virginia State's was the first contest this year. Happened on January 4th in Richmond, Virginia. Um, Bla uh, Blaze Becker got third place. Colin Beckford got second place. Luke Troutwine took home the W. So we're going to be watching his freestyle with my clicks overlaid. So yeah, let's get into it. And here we go. So Luke has a very like uh, single element based style of yo-yoing. A lot of high clicking elements laced together really quickly. He starts off with a kind of original slack combo to a nice like arm transition. Some hops right here. Um, everything in this freestyle is, is pretty queued up. There's a lot of music cues here. These are all cues like beat hits that go towards music use one. He has a, a hop there that you'll see again at the end. Really big uh, plus th three element there, really difficult. Some more over the head stuff. Again, all going with the music, the general pace of the tricks, as well as individual beat hits. Going into a front style, really solid. And he's about to have his first mistake of the freestyle. Um, one of not many. Going into a whip combo. Again, right here, that's an element you're going to see again later in the freestyle that I will dock a click for. Kind of an ab style single element combo going on here. He's very good at these. Kind of a Xion inspired thing there. Plus two for that suicide. And another plus two for that minus three. That's really tough. Really nice, quick uh, bouncing, like a bounce back element there. Going into a rail combo, really solid. This is like the most major section of mistakes in his freestyle where he misses a bind a few times, gets a few negatives. Uh, I think the song kind of slows down here and he's doing a more kind of chill combo. 2.5 hook, another really difficult trick. And going into a behind the back, really difficult entrance, Get two clicks and his horizontal to end it out. As I said earlier, he would repeat that hop, and because he repeated it, repeated it in horizontal, I still gave it one click for the difficulty f uh, from it being horizontal, but I docked him a click that he would have gotten for the kind of for the base trick in the first place. So I scored him at 91 minus nine, which is really strong for a two minute performance. But that being said, he did have a restart. As you can see on the graph, um, there's kind of that one dip down that's because of uh, the moment where he missed a few binds and then at the end again for the restart. Um, now I'm going to switch over to the scores so we can look at the evals. So there we go. Um, I think Luke had a uh, pretty pretty like generally strong eval evals in this freestyle. There were some categories he really uh, excelled in. I think music use one or choreography especially. So I'll just go through these one by one. I mean, starting and starting it off, he had a pretty dominant tech score, but it wasn't like he had a 60. He had a 53 compared to Colin with a 47, which means the judges were not unanimous at all in their decision, but they still did have Luke noticeably higher. Okay. Going to execution, he got a 4.0, which pretty much makes sense. Nobody at this contest went unbelievably clean, as the execution scores show. Uh, Blaze with a 4.5 is really the, the cleanest freestyle, but everybody else is kind of on the same level of cleanliness, I'd say. Uh, control, he got a 4.0. He might have been uh, docked a little bit for that section where he missed some binds. I'm not too sure. Again, kind of just a, a solid score that makes sense. Trick diversity, a 3.5. Uh, I think this is fitting because Luke has a lot of uh, similar elements or sim similar whip style elements. And I think even though he does have a horizontal and a short behind the back, it still doesn't make sense for him to have too high of a trick diversity score. Um, space use, another category where I don't think he particularly particularly excelled i mean he definitely used the stage a little but 
he also could have used it more. I think a a 3.3 makes sense there too. Um, So now are the two music use categories. And I think choreography, he got a 4.3. I think he almost could have gotten a higher score there. Um, There were about a million beat hits in that freestyle. Uh, When he's doing his front style, when he's doing his whips, when he's doing his abs, almost everything has uh, a hit. Um, Also, I I think with the the MU1, MU2, it's kind of hard for me to draw the line to where it becomes MU2. I know with the beat hits, it's Music Use 1, and I think he killed it there. Um, He got a 4.5 in construction. I don't entirely understand how that category is supposed to function. But I think one of the things that matters for it is uh, if the tricks generally line up with the pace he's going at, and I think Luke is amazing at that, and this freestyle really demonstrates that uh, in the way that he'll be doing a combo and it will be at about the same speed as the music's going. Uh, Like when it's building up, it's faster. When it's a slower part he's doing something more technical and a little bit slower so i think those high music use scores are are really deserved body control 4.0 again really like solid body control and a 3.0 in showmanship which i also agree with i don't think there was anything outstanding about his um showmanship it was pretty much in the middle as a three would illustrate so Those are all of the eval categories. I think another really interesting thing about this freestyle is that he won with a restart, which is pretty hard to do. And then a week after this contest, Patrick Canny also won West Coast with a restart. So it might just be the year of the restarts. Who knows? Um, Thinking if there's any other things I want to say. I think that's about it. But this is a... Crazy strong freestyle from Luke. I mean, all round, really, really solid freestyle. I would not be surprised to see him in, in the top three at PNWR. I think the biggest issues he will have will be kind of overcoming that single element, repetitive element thing that, that goes on. Like if he can have some other styles of tricks, I think it will benefit him a lot. But other than that, I... I think he could be gunning for the win, honestly. So thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.